गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू योर न्यू क्लास एंड दिस क्लास इज योर क्लास थर्ड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू फिट एंड हेल्दी है एट योर होम विद योर फैमिली एंड दिस इज वेरी सेफ फॉर यू बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन द सिचुएशन इज नॉट गुड एट अ प्रजेंट टाइम दैट्स वाई योर स्कूल इज नॉट ओपन एंड ऑल ऑफ आर यू ऑल ऑफ are you at your home with your family and your studies is is start on online mode first i'm introduce you myself i am neeru singh and i teach you ssc subject okay beta so all of you get ready with your ssc book look at here this is your ssc book look at here Candid Interactive Social Studies Three. This is your SST book. I hope all of you purchase now your book. And this time, all of you very miss your school, your classmates, your teachers because in your your new session, you are very enjoying with your new new books, with your new bags. Yes, you know, and you are very excited. But during the COVID time, all of you at your home, and it is good for you, beta. That's why. And we are very miss you, very miss you. Okay, then start now. Your today's class is your SST class. First, all of you open now your first chapter. according to your book this is your first chapter i'm mention now here your first chapter is chapter 1 our earth the first chapter is the earth the earth chapter 1 the earth our home our home this is your first chapter so everyone open now beta your book page number page number 6 everyone open now and this time your reading time reading time all of you open your book this time your reading time in this chapter we will discuss about the earth and the atmosphere and what is the shape of the earth and what is the origin and what is the coast these points we will discuss about in this chapter what is the earth and why the life is possible on the earth only in our solar system how many planets in last class i taught you anyone tell me anyone tell me yes my students all students give the answer but this time all of you at your home this time i miss my class because in the classroom all students raise their hand ma'am i will give you answer ma'am i will give you answer this type of you all of you give the reaction but here is i'm not attend your response but i know it very well you all give the answer there are eight planets in our solar system last year i told you and this that, that chapter was in your annual syllabus yes you know in science yes na yes our, our earth our earth is only one planet and it it is on the earth only life is possible because the air the atmosphere the water is present on the earth that's why the life is possible on the earth okay look at here in your book here is the picture of our earth look at here in this picture here is the blue part and some green parts 
here is the green part is this a green part is show you it means it is a land and this blue part is show you it means watcher it means in our earth one fourth part is the land and the three fourth three fourth part is watcher that's why our earth is called blue planet because there is too much water that's why the earth is called blue planet okay all human beings animals birds insects all living things also live on the earth and millions of thousands of trees plants are grow on it okay beta and what is the atmosphere atmosphere the layer of the air the layer of the air is surrounded by our earth and this layer of the air is called atmosphere and we cannot see it we cannot see it because we can feel air okay and what is the shape of the earth the shape of the earth is a round it is a flat the shape of the earth is a like a ball and some scientists and sailors are prove it okay and tell me students anyone which astronauts tell me the name of the astronaut first astronaut who put their feet on the first time on the moon i think all of you remember it tell me anyone the astronaut name was first tell me the first person name to set his feet on the moon anyone tell me the name is neil armstrong that was last chapter in science class all of you remember it yes i know it all of you remember it only one month is going over now na that's why you all of you learn it okay then what is the horizon horizon means horizon means a line where the land suppose that when we are see now this is a land and here is a sky but sometime we are see now this land and this sky both are meet it means this place is called horizon but both are not meet both are not meet okay it means horizon it is a line where the land and sky seems to meet what is atmosphere a layer of air that surrounds the earth it is called atmosphere these definitions all of you learn it and in next class i will explain this chapter till then beta all of you read this chapter properly it means this is the homework what is the homework all of you read read chapter 1 page number page number 6 to page number 6 to 8 this is your homework in next class i will explain you this chapter okay beta till then have a nice day